my beautiful Libra. Thank you for joining me for your weekly reading. So we're looking at the energies of mid-May, okay? Uh, take it as it resonates. If you don't connect to the reading, that's totally fine. It happens, my love, okay? If you do, let me know. Press a like. Share your story if it feels comfortable, okay? So let's uh, pick the general vibe. Let's pick these two. A new start is coming. Love that. And confidence is the key to your success, okay? Before I started the reading, Libra, I had a feeling that you would be getting a job offer, okay? I had a feeling that someone would be getting an offer that was kind of unexpected, sorry, and a little bit different from what you usually do, okay? So let's say you're used to doing customer service, doing a certain type of work. You're going to have an offer, I feel, that differs from what you usually have. I felt like it was work-related, but it could be connected to work. Uh, definitely something that will bring you more abundance. I don't know. My intuition was kind of through the roof just before I started the reading. Sometimes it happens. Let's start right away and clarify with... Uh, I will clarify with the Botticelli, but I will be starting with a regular tarot. Okay. What does Libra need to know for mid-May? Ooh, what does Libra need to know for mid-May? Okay. Listen. First card, your energy. It's going to be a good freaking month for you. Definitely, okay? Justice is, of course... Uh, getting what we feel like is fair that we get okay so if you've been working for a while and you feel like you're giving so much of your energy but you're not getting enough in return it's going to be switching full brand new beginning um this is even before the new beginning you're finally letting yourself have a brand new start when it comes to what you want I feel like, of course, the fool is the soul of the tarot, okay? Your soul is calling you towards stability. This is the 1111 card, four of, um, four of wands. So you are protected. The universe is working in your favor. Listen, these three cards are confirming what my intuition was telling me before the reading. There's something new happening. Something that your soul is kind of called towards, but I feel like it differs from the usual things you're doing, okay? It's something you're passionate about, it's something that you're good at, uh, and it will bring you a lot of balance. Finally, an equal give and take when it comes to the energy you're giving and what you're getting in return. So it could be money, but it could also be other people's energy. What a powerful first row, my love. Libra, you guys always have like super powerful reading. I love it. What does Libra need to know? Okay, cards are, they want to jump out today. Hermit, being at peace with not knowing what's, what's going to happen with the future. I think you're taking a leap of faith in your life. And I don't always associate the fool with a leap of faith. Um, just jumping into a new project without even being sure what's going to happen with it. But the, the Hermit confirms what I was thinking. Also, the Hermit is Virgo energy. With Virgo, we are aware of the energy we give and what we receive also. Virgo is not afraid to be selfish. Trust me, there is a lot of happiness and well-being that you can get through being selfish. It's not a bad thing to be selfish. And I think you're slowly learning that. Um, see, hermit and the moon together. This is literally being at peace with not knowing in a couple years from now where you will be. So you just want to chill. You just want to flow with the universe, but you are putting a lot of work. You are putting a lot of energy, a lot of attention, time into your work, into a practice. Uh, or you will be soon if you, you feel like you're not doing that right now. And you will be getting recognition for that. So someone notice you. I'm going to be honest. I feel like someone wants to invest in your talent. Someone will want to invest in you. So you can create something. So like I said, it doesn't have to be connected exactly to what you're doing. 
And I do feel like it's, you're go it's gonna be unexpected. It's like a sudden offer of someone wanting to invest in you. And it's something that only you have. It's a talent that comes from you and someone, maybe an older person with a lot of money, a lot of stability. They, they want to invest in you. This is special. They want to invest in your future and your happiness because they know your worth. They know what you can bring to the table. They know you would be an asset to their project or this thing that they want to create. Uh, it could also be something that is outside the location where you usually work. Okay, so let's say you've been working in the same location for a while. This could be different. Cards are really intense right now. Okay, King of Cups wanted to come out. King of Cups is such a beautiful energy of knowing you have a special talent, knowing that you are good at something, not really sure what it is that you have to offer or how you want to offer it. But again, I feel like someone is going to invest in you and it's going to bring a lot of clarity. How beautiful. Give me one more. Give me one more for Libra. Queen of Cups. Okay, we have a perfect duo here. Look at this. The Ten of Cups, Queen and King of Cups. This person that wants to invest in you, my love, I think that there might be love in that situation, okay? So maybe you have a partner or maybe you're about to meet someone who not only believes in your talent, but they love you. It could be a deep love, respect, friendship, co-worker, love equal give and take but I do feel like for some of you it could be someone that you literally share your life with or someone that has potential being your lover it's not a love reading we're not focusing on that today we're focusing on you okay this is more of a personal reading the energy needs to be directed towards you my love so I'm really intrigued let's start clarifying with the Botticelli tarot give me clarity on the justice card Give me clarity on the justice card. We have the 10 of wands. So getting release, okay? I really think that you're leaving something behind, something that was really exhausting. Uh, for some of you, you might change job. Maybe you had two jobs for a while and you feel like one isn't serving you as much anymore. And when you finally clear the way, you're going to be... You're going to see new doors opening again. Someone is definitely going to invest in you. It's going to be changing your whole future. It's the kind of thing you're going to be looking at 10 years from now and be like, oh my God, everything was meant to be. Okay. Give me clarity on the full card. Give me clarity on the full card. The full clarified by the full guys. This is not typical energy. This is major energy. What is that? Wow, I have goosebumps right now, Libra. If you're, if you know Tarot a little bit, you're going to be shook by the Fool, being clarified by the Fool. The Fool is the soul of the Tarot. All these cards, all the Tarot, the deck, it's his story. It's... It, it, it's so hard to explain this type of energy because it's not even a seed that's been planted. It's before, okay? It's all the spectrum of possibilities. There is nothing stopping you, Libra. I don't think you understand how powerful the energies are around you right now. And I feel like the moment you let go, the moment you accept that you can't control many things, especially when it comes to your future, you put in the work, you put in the energy, the time, uh, without being ego-driven, without being money-driven all the time. You do things out of passion, and this is why doors are opening for you. I'm shook. Oh my god, the fool clarified by the fool? I'm not getting over that shit, trust me. Um, four of Wands. Give me clarity on the Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands, okay? Communication is key to your success. This is communication, but it's also Cupid's arrow, okay? So this person that will be coming towards you, you might already be communicating with that person. It could be just online. 
It could be in person also. Maybe you know someone and I feel like you don't even, maybe you don't know that this is the kind of person you could be ending up in a relationship with. Maybe you don't even know that they could be investing in you in the future. In some type of way, they will be investing in you. I feel like it's someone creative. They have a creative side that attracts you. If you are already in a relationship, listen, communication is the key to the success of this relationship. Uh, this is something basic. All humans heard that once in their life. Communication is the most important thing in a relationship. But until you get that relationship that has an equal give and take, especially in communication, you don't really understand that. You heard that, but you don't really understand it. And I feel like it's going to be opening your eyes. What? Okay, some of you are definitely going to fall in love. And I'm not a fan with falling in love. I feel like it's a, a really radical term. It's like falling. That's scary, okay? But you're going to be feeling the butterflies, feeling like there's an equal give and take in this situation. The Six of Pentacles is here to clarify that, okay? So... All the energy, the time, the effort, and especially the work that you've been putting in a certain project, this thing that your soul has to do, it might be paying your bills, but it comes from your soul. You're finally going to have this equal give and take. So if you feel like you've been underpaid, chances are you've been underpaid, even if you're making good money, because the energy you're putting in is so wide, so intense. You're finally going to feel like you're paid to your value, like people are noticing your talents and the work that you're willing to put in. Your efforts are not going to be uh, unwitnessed. I don't know if I can, you know, remember I'm French, guys. I'm, I'm, I feel like someone is going to notice uh, all the hard work you've been doing for years, for years, my love. Give yourself some credit for that. The moon, give me clarity on the moon. We have the Knight Pentacles, okay? Being really particular with who you give your energy to and taking your time. There is nothing to rush here. Good things take time. So if you are a little bit annoyed right now, a little bit like in the darkness, not really knowing what's going to happen, it might take time. But again, it's something that you will be looking at in a couple months, couple weeks, maybe a couple years from now and be like, oh shit, it was all worth the wait. Three of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. Ooh, Two of Wands. I love that. So this is just the beginning of this new thing that's happening into your life. I don't necessarily feel like it's a brand new thing. It's something that you've worked on before or something that you contemplated before. Two of Wands is like a soup. Things are simmering. Things are cooking. They're not ready to be eaten now, but it's happening. You're, you have hope for the future. People are noticing you. And even if you don't know that, trust me, be aware of people around you noticing your work because they will be having an impact on your future at the end of the day. Ten of Cups. Ooh, okay. The King of Sword and the Page of Sword. Look how fast you are evolving. Going to a Page of Sword energy to a King of Sword energy. And you know why you are evolving that fast, Libra? It's because you are comfortable having difficult conversation, okay? The King of Sword, he's been through a lot. He's been through pain, through loss, through grief. But he is comfortable having conversation with the people involved. And also conversation with yourself. Being able to look at yourself in a mirror and being like, hey, that time you fucked up. And you know what? It's okay. I'm a human being. The page of uh, sword is the hero of the deck. He is, he is the one who prepares you for the hardest moment of your life. He is willing to fight for what he wants. He is not foolish in any way. He is prepared for what's to come. So I think that you know how to build a strong foundation in your life, especially when it comes to money. You will never be out of work. You will never be wondering, like, how am I going to get money? You always work hard for what you have, and you owe that to only you, Libra. 
Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. We have the Three of Sword. So Three of Sword, of course, a lot of people associate that card with heartbreak. In the regular tarot, it's a heart with three swords in it, okay? Three of Sword is so much more than that. It's bravery. Again, it confirms that you've been having difficult conversation. It could be with a past lover. It could be with a family member. Finally telling someone your truth, okay? Understanding that uncomfortable conversation and uncomfortable moments are bringing you more clarity and are helping you evolve, especially in your workplace. Um, so you might be reconnecting with a next lover, okay? And it, it's gonna feel good. I'm not talking about a toxic person. I'm talking about someone that you might already know or already been, you know, if it's not an ex-lover, it's someone who you've been communicating with, someone you feel like there is an equal give and take, uh, an equal exchange of energy. Things are going to be evolving fast, but you are still healing from something. So you have to give yourself time, Libra. Good things take time. Okay? So be nice to yourself. Uh, enjoy this brand new beginning. Uh, let your soul guide you. Don't try to plan everything in advance. It's not going to work right now. Okay? Focus on working hard. Focus on giving the most energy you can to, to yourself. And again, someone is going to be investing in you. So open your eyes. Stay open to people who want to invest in you. They don't want to take advantage of you. They believe in your talent and in your assets. So Libra, thank you for being here today. Uh, stay confident. Keep your head up. A new start is coming. This is really powerful energy. I'm still not over the fool being clarified by the fool. Literally, this is just... A deep soul rating. Someone needed to hear that. So enjoy this. And I'll be back as always in a couple days with your soulmate rating. Thank you, Libra. Bye-bye.